This is exciting, and I've been waiting for this all day. <sighs> Women's Day, a couple of weeks ago, reported <laughs> JJ's new I'm all about the details. summer lover. Okay, well, I never said it was love, by the way. Um, you're 47. Okay, shh. He's 27. Okay. It sounds bad when you say it out loud. Look, but when you see us together, you see that oh, yeah. the age means nothing. Yeah. We are the same age. Yep, you just keep telling yourself that. Okay, so um, here is the exclusive interview. What? No, you told me. We got questions from the audience yesterday. Yes. And I was going to interview him last night. You were going to record it at home. Yes, yeah. because he didn't want to come on the air. Okay. I told you yesterday I hadn't run this past him. Yes. He wasn't keen. So he said, I'm not going on the radio. And I, I was like, don't worry, I can change your voice or something. But he wouldn't. I'm a very persuasive man. And I got uh, your summer lover uh, on the phone uh, earlier. And you I did not. I went to his work and I interviewed him. I followed COVID-19 guidelines. I wore a mask when I went into the place where he works. Did you really? Yep. And here it is. Oh, my God. My interview with JJ's young boyfriend. <laughs> here we go. So, uh, look, uh, we've heard a lot about JJ snoring, mate. Uh, what's her snoring like? Well, uh, have you heard an antelope mating call? Yeah, an antelope. It's uh, kind of like that. <laughs> That's what not... first attracted you to our mate, JJ? Well, when she got that bowl haircut last year... Oh, you... You know, when she got the bowl cut, <laughs> it just reminded me of the vicar of Dublin. <laughs> I always had a thing for the vicar. I used to watch her with my mum and dad. And now I'm dating her identical twin. <laughs> no. What do your friends think about JJ? You know, when you, they must have hung out through her a bit. Yeah, they really like her. She's kind of like a mother figure. <laughs> She's the same age as all of our mums. Uh, so, okay, does JJ let you stay up late at night? Yeah, if I unload the dishwasher and wipe down the bench, she lets me stay up to 10.30. <laughs> if I, uh, in the morning, if I eat all my Cocoa Pops all up, she lets me watch cartoons too. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if you think about leisure activities, what sort of fun things do you guys do together? Well, she lets my mates come round and we have Nerf wars with our Nerf guns, you know, and sometimes if we're really good, she'll take us to laser strike. <laughs> right, now JJ's uh, a bit of a bit of a chef these days. What's the best thing JJ cooks for you? Oh, you know those little tins of uh, alphabet spaghetti? It's real <laughs> yummy and fun because sometimes it spells a word like bum. <laughs> and uh, if you think she's got a lot of good qualities, but what's JJ's biggest flaw? Well, I don't know if you noticed, but she's always messaging everyone to saying how busy she is. <laughs> to be honest, she's just sitting on her couch chugging back Pinot Green. <laughs> Thanks very much for coming on the show. <laughs> What a great interview. That is such See, a lie. That's a, that is not him. <laughs> Who was that? That was you, Flynn. I don't want to say the name. That was you, wasn't it? Trying to protect your summer lover's identity. George, can you slow that down for me? I want to hear one of those <laughs> a little bit slower. <laughs>